Wayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to pack this, uh, prepare this for shipping, and we're going to pack it up. So this is an electric smith corner, it's very heavy. It's going to be shipped without a carrying case. It doesn't have a carriage lock on it, so we're going to we're going to release the escapement by holding the, mar the uh, carriage release levers. And then we're going to set the margin in the middle to hold the carriage in place like that. So, first thing we're going to do is do something to hold these levers in, which I got a rubber band here that's going to fit over this right there and hold it. And we'll do the same to the other side over here. In fact, I'm going to move this margin so it stays over here so I can put that on there. Let's do that real quick. And then to doubly make sure these uh, rubber bands stay in place, I'm going to use the uh, stretch wrap here. I'm going to just wrap this real quick like this and do a little stretch wrap on it right here like that do it to the other side too move this margin get me some cleanse over here and we'll just wrap this up a little as a secondary safety factor here Stretch wrap is great for stuff like this. And that's going to hold nice. Again, let's put this uh, margin in the center, about so that it's about equal. The knobs are sticking out about equal. Both sides make one more notch over. There we go. And the next thing I'm going to do for this is put a piece on the keyboard here, a piece of a uh, bubble wrap just like that and I'm also going to use shrink wrap uh, plastic wrap to uh, adhere that in place I also want to put something in the basket here, so I've got this guy kind of made to fit in here. Like that, I'm going to close the lid on that. And then we're going to put one more piece here to push that down, so that's going to hold the basket from shifting around. Okay, so now comes the big bubble wrap portion of the process. I'm going to move this off the table here and put a big sheet down like this one here. Like this. I'm put it this way. Put the typewriter back on here. Cord here, I think. In fact, I'm going to do. Uh, do something really different. So this piece I'm going to do the I'm going to do this part here to uh, 
trying to isolate those uh, good things. mobs are a little more. Good potential. Move it to the side a little bit. And this thing goes around. Hopefully there's some. The, it will kind of help protect the uh, end carriage a little more. Always when you do bubble wrap, make sure it is tight. There's no sense in putting it on there if it's not tight. Even got some bubbles to pop there. on this side. Tight. Okay, that's uh, cooling pretty good, but we're going to do one more. Not done with this. One more sheet to put on here. A little cross. To put it in here. The other way like this now. I'd like to put something over here maybe. Get 
this thing snug as a bug. Okay. It's done right, it's kind of, kind of got a little bulge here. And here, and on this side. This is the front, remember? So, it's looking pretty good. is to find the appropriate size box with about two inches on every side and uh, put popcorn in the box a couple inches around every corner and that's it this is the key process right here to get that cocooned and now you just want a, a big enough box that you can put some um, popcorn packing is the best gives it a little bit of more cushion cushion here and that's it that's how you pack a a heavy portable without a carrying case that's gonna it's gonna it's gonna make it no problem all right the typewriter good day 